Last night, satellites recorded something no one expected. One side of Mount Etna quietly slipped toward the sea. It wasn't an eruption, it was a fracture, a slow, silent tear running through Europe's most active volcano. For decades, Etna has glowed harmlessly above Sicily's towns, a fiery tourist backdrop. But now, the mountain itself is starting to move. Whole slopes, weighing billions of tons, are sliding inch by inch toward the Mediterranean. And scientists say this isn't surface erosion. It's the volcano breaking apart from within. If that flank lets go, it won't just bury villages. It could send a wall of water racing across the sea, a tsunami striking three countries in under an hour. Sicily, Malta, even Greece. What's happening inside Etna right now has never been seen before. Sensors show magma forcing open deep fractures, while gravity drags the entire structure downhill. Every centimeter of movement adds pressure, and every pulse of magma pushes it closer to collapse. People living on those slopes don't feel a thing. The ground looks solid, the vineyards still green, but beneath them, the mountain is unraveling. A slow-motion disaster already underway. How far can a volcano tear before it gives way? And would anyone recognize the warning signs in time? Scientists studying Etna say the danger isn't the lava you can see. It's the chain reaction you can't. They've discovered something they call a volcanic feedback loop. Here's how it works. When magma rises from deep below, it forces open cracks inside the mountain, melting rock and prying it apart. That pressure pushes the flank downhill, and when the flank moves, it opens even more space for magma to surge upward. Each movement feeds the next, a self-reinforcing cycle that's accelerating right now. In the last decade, Etna's slope movement has doubled, sensors buried in the rock show section sliding centimeters each month. That may sound small, but when the mass in motion weighs billions of tons, every centimeter counts. Seismic instruments have begun picking up rhythmic tremors. Not random noise, but pulses that match the speed of that creeping slide. It's as if the volcano has found its own heartbeat, and there's a reason that rhythm matters. In 2018, a team from Italy and Germany placed sensors on the sea floor, right where Etna's base meets the Ionian coast. They expected to measure minor stress. Instead, they found the entire underwater flank slipping toward the abyss. That discovery changed everything. Etna isn't just cracking, it's shifting as one giant block, a mountain on the move. If that motion accelerates, it won't stop at the shoreline. It'll dive straight into the Mediterranean, and the consequences won't stay in Sicily. History shows what happens when Etna's rhythm speeds up. It ends the same way. Collapse, eruption, chaos. And scientists say the signs we're seeing now mirror one of the most destructive events in European history. Back in 1669, the warnings looked small, a few ground cracks, low rumbles that villagers mistook for storms. Then, in one night, the southern slope split open, not at the summit, but halfway down the mountain, right above people's homes. From that gash poured an ocean of fire. Lava rolled across farmland, swallowing entire villages. For four straight months, Etna didn't stop. The flow reached the city of Catania, burst through its fortress walls, and, and kept going until it expanded the island itself, literally adding new coastline to Sicily. That eruption rewrote the map and the conditions that triggered it. Ground fractures, flank movement, to deep magma pressure dash dash are exactly what satellites are seeing now. Here's the part no one wants to hear. Etna's 1669 eruption came after decades of slow, silent deformation, almost identical to what's happening today. The last time it reached this level of movement, it didn't stop sliding until the mountain tore itself open. So the question is no longer, will Etna erupt? It's how it will fail this time. Will it vent harmlessly from the summit or split from the side again? Closer to the towns, the ports, and nearly one million people living on its flanks? If the movement we're seeing continues, Etna isn't just preparing to erupt, it's preparing to fail. And when a volcano fails, it doesn't fall quietly. Scientists fear the southeastern flank, a slab of rock the size of a small country, could one day break loose and slide into the sea, billions of tons of earth moving at once, collapsing in seconds. It sounds impossible, but the physics are simple. The slope is already slipping, Gravity is pulling it downhill, and magma is acting like a lubricant, pushing from beneath. If that flank lets go, it won't be a slow-motion event. It would hit the Mediterranean like a meteor. Imagine a wall of rock crashing into deep water. The impact forcing up a pulse of ocean. That turns into a tsunami within minutes. 
Simulations show waves up to 50 meters high, slamming into Sicily's coast, followed by surges racing outward toward Malta, Greece, and North Africa. Ports destroyed, cities flooded, ships tossed inland like toys, and the terrifying part? There might be no warning. Because this collapse wouldn't start with an explosion, it would start with silence, one final shudder, then everything moves at once. Scientists call it a flank collapse, but in reality, it's a volcanic landslide, powerful enough to rewrite coastlines, and history proves it can happen. The same kind of event struck Hawaii's Big Island, tens of thousands of years ago, sending debris halfway across the Pacific. Etna sits in the same geological danger zone, and its slope is already in motion, right now sensors under the sea. Show the mountains sliding a few centimeters each month. That doesn't sound like much, until you remember that the last time. Etna's flank accelerated like this. It ended with fire, ash, and the sea rising to meet the land. For years, scientists thought Etna's movement was just surface creep, harmless expansion from small eruptions. But in 2018, a research team from Germany and Italy proved otherwise. They anchored sensors to the sea floor beneath the Ionian Sea, directly in the volcano's shadow. And what they found shocked them. The entire southeastern flank isn't just shifting on land, it's sliding underwater. The base of Etna, the part buried beneath the sea, is creeping toward the abyss. And that means the mountain isn't cracking from the top down. It's failing from the bottom up. In the years since, satellite radar and GPS readings have confirmed the same motion. Steady, accelerating, and unmistakable. The slope is moving centimeters per month, and the speed is increasing after every eruption. It's as if each burst of magma acts like a hydraulic jack, lifting and prying the mountain apart one push at a time. The scary part? That movement doesn't stop when the eruptions do. Even in calm years, Etna keeps shifting, like a living creature that never sleeps. Scientists have mapped microquakes along the sliding zone, tiny fractures clicking like distant clockwork. Each one marks stress redistributing as the flank inches closer to failure. And deep in the magma chambers below, ground deformation sensors have picked up strange rhythmic pulses, expansions, and contractions that no one fully understands. Some geologists think the volcano is breathing in a slow inhale of pressure, building in a shallow exhale of release. But if the timing changes, if those pulses sink with the flank's motion, it could be the moment the whole structure gives way. The data is clear, Etna is moving, and it's moving faster than ever before. Etna's collapse isn't a single event waiting to happen. It's a chain reaction, already in motion. Every eruption, every tremor, every sigh of gas from the summit feeds energy into the same unstable slope. It's a feedback loop. And once it starts, it's almost impossible to stop. Here's how it works. When magma rises from deep within the crust, it pushes outward, cracking the mountain like glass. That heat and pressure force the southeastern flank to inch downward, just a few centimeters at first. But that movement in turn creates even more space for magma to intrude. The more it moves, the easier it becomes to move again. A volcano tearing itself apart from the inside out. And now, scientists believe the loop is accelerating. Recent GPS data shows sudden bursts of motion, immediately after eruptions. Shifts that used to take months, now happening in a matter of days. Seismologists have even detected deep, low-frequency earthquakes that suggest magma is surging into new fractures beneath the sliding flank. The volcano isn't just leaking pressure, it's expanding like a balloon under strain. That's why geologists fear a tipping point, a moment when the downward pull of gravity overcomes the mountain's internal strength. If that happens, it won't erupt politely from the summit. The volcano could split open along its side, unleashing a flood of lava straight toward the coast. And the more the flank slides, the more likely that scenario becomes. The process is like loosening the lid on a boiling pot. Each slip releases a little steam, but makes the next burst more violent. At some point, the lid doesn't hold anymore. If Etna reaches that threshold, we won't be talking about a normal eruption. We'll be watching a mountain collapse in real time. For the people living on Etna's slopes, the danger isn't theoretical. It's beneath their feet. Villages like Zafirana, Nicolosi, and Lingua Glossa sit directly on the moving flank. To the locals, tremors are just part of life. Windows rattle, walls crack, and then everything goes quiet again. But what most don't realize is that the ground beneath their homes isn't just shaking, it's migrating, sliding centimeter by centimeter toward the sea. 
entire neighborhoods creeping downhill like a slow-motion landslide. Roads buckle, ancient stone walls split open, and survey markers that once lined up perfectly now sit misaligned by whole meters. To a geologist, it's terrifying. To most residents, it's invisible. Scientists have tried to sound the alarm. In 2023, researchers at Italy's National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology published a report calling the Southeast Flank a slow-motion disaster zone. Their models showed that even a minor trigger, a heavy rain season, a mid-sized earthquake, or another magma intrusion could accelerate the slope's motion exponentially. But warnings rarely make headlines when the mountain looks calm. And that's the cruel part. Etna's danger isn't the explosions that light up the sky. It's the silence between them. Tourists still climb the crater rim for photos. Vineyards still grow on its fertile slopes. And entire towns depend on the volcano for their identity and economy. The longer nothing happens, the harder it becomes to convince anyone that something will. Yet the sensors keep ticking, the slope keeps shifting, and every small quake adds another crack to the puzzle. If the flank lets go suddenly, tens of thousands would have only minutes to react. And no clear escape routes. The question haunting scientists isn't if the collapse will happen. It's whether anyone will believe the warnings in time. If Etna's flank fails, it won't just bury a few towns. It could trigger one of the fastest moving natural disasters in modern European history. When billions of tons of rock hit the Ionian Sea, they displace enough water to send a wall racing outward. A Mediterranean tsunami. And because the sea here is shallow near the coast but deep offshore, that wave wouldn't fade. It would grow. Simulations run by the GEOMAR Institute in Germany show what could happen within five minutes, waves over 30 meters high, could slam into Sicily's eastern coastline. Within 15, they'd reach Malta and southern Italy. And within an hour, the shock would hit Greece, Tunisia, and even the northern shores of Africa. In total, more than 20 million people live in the potential impact zone. But the scariest part, there's almost no warning system for an event like this. The Mediterranean isn't wired like the Pacific, where deep-sea sensors can detect a tsunami minutes after a quake. Here, the first sign might not be an alert. It might be the ocean itself pulling back from the shore. Ports, refineries, and power stations line these coastlines. A sudden surge would tear through them, igniting fires, rupturing pipelines, and cutting off energy to entire regions. Malta's Grand Harbor could be gone in minutes. Syracuse and Catania flattened. And the aftershocks wouldn't just be physical. Europe's shipping lanes, data cables, and coastal economies all pass through the same bottleneck. One collapse on Etna could ripple across the entire Mediterranean economy in hours. It's a reminder that volcanoes don't just reshape landscapes. They rewrite history because the same mountain that built Sicily's fertile soil could, in one violent moment, redraw its entire coastline. And according to scientists, that moment may not be centuries away. It could already be building beneath the waves. Every instrument on Mount Etna is whispering the same message. The mountain is changing. GPS stations along the southeastern slope are recording steady, measurable movement, some as fast as 4 centimeters a month. Thermal satellites have detected subtle temperature spikes around the fissures that split open in 2024, and deep seismic sensors have started picking up those low, drawn-out rumbles that geologists call volcanic size the kind that often appear before structural shifts. Dr. Alessia Moretti of Italy's National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology. Put it bluntly, Etna's flank is no longer stable. The process is irreversible. The only question left is how fast it happens. For scientists, this isn't just another eruption study. It's a race to understand how an entire volcano can slowly dismantle itself before the final collapse. If Etna gives way completely, it could become the first recorded flank failure of a major stratovolcano in the modern era. A geological event powerful enough to reshape coastlines and rewrite textbooks, teams from Italy, Germany, and Japan are now deploying new undersea instruments to map the motion in real time. But even with cutting-edge tech, there's no reliable way to predict the break. It could be triggered by a quake, by magma pressure, or by nothing more than gravity itself. And when it happens, there won't be a countdown. Only seconds of silence before the mountain moves. Etna has erupted hundreds of times in human history. But this time, the eruption might not come from the summit. It could come from the mountain's heart as an entire flank slides into the sea.
The world's most watched volcano is breaking apart, and somewhere beneath the Sicilian soil, the clock is still ticking. So what do you think? Are we witnessing Etna's slow motion collapse? Or just another phase in its endless life cycle? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the forces that shape our planet. Because sometimes, the ground moves before we ever hear the warning.